Hello, this is Rice Snow. So, so there is one more thing I want to explain about this sound effect and music program. So we created this program, sound effect, and uh, so far these calls are, you know, using only one class. In this case, this sound class. It, this is still a simple program, so it has only one, you know, 160 lines. But uh, you know, if you keep writing the code and uh, if you want to add a lot of content into your game then then your code will become very long and so sometimes it go it will be more than 500 lines or maybe thousand two thousand three thousand you know then you want to divide this code into multiple classes divide it into multiple parts of the whole program if you have like a three thousand lines in a single class, then uh, it makes it difficult to follow everything. Where this method is and where that method is, you know. So sometimes it makes makes it hard to find things you are looking for. And I thought this sound program is a very good sample to you know try these multiple classes because it's very easy actually mm, to do that. So yeah, inside of this sound class, we all also have this sound effect class and also this music class so i'm thinking to separate these two classes from this uh, sound class and uh, make them as a like an independent class individual class mm. and so to do that it's actually mm, pretty simple from here right click on this source src and uh, yeah let's make a new class and here, okay, so let's make this sound effect class. Sound effect. Hmm. And uh, this time, no need to check this one, but just finish. And so, sound effect class is created. And uh, in this case, basically, we just need to copy and paste this. So, here, like this. And so, sound effect class. Hmm and so yeah we can delete this just delete this or comment out hmm. and also let's make another class and this time music music class and finish and let's copy this music class and paste it paste here hmm. And so we don't need to use this music class anymore. So let's comment out. Hmm. And so yeah, it's done basically. So yeah. Okay. Let's try this program. Is it really gonna work? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Here. And sound effect. Yeah, you can hear the sound effect. And if you click this, music starts. And music off. On, off, on. Yeah. So it's same. So we don't need this anymore. We can delete this. Hmm. Yeah, so this sound class has become simpler. Hmm. So we can, you know, divide it, the, the sound effects class and the music class to, uh, you know, different individual, in, in, yeah, independent individual class. So now this project has three class, sound, music, and the sound effect class. And so you can still hear sound effect and the music because, because we have done this, we have done this this sound effect so we initialized this sound effect class here and named se and the music named mu hmm. so this is the key so we initialized this these classes here so now we can use these classes inside of this sound class and so yeah by using this se or mu so we can still access these classes hmm. so se means uh, sound effect so and it has this method set file and play and so we can access 
uh, by typing like this sc dot set file this method mm. so this method is uh, inside of this sound effect and uh, sc dot play or mu dot dot set file or play or loop mm. so like this way you can divide your code into uh, multiple classes how to divide your code is i think it's really up to your own idea so like uh you can make player character class or a monster class or so item class and uh put some parameters into the class and you can you can access those parameters from like a main class so like if you made like a lot of monsters for example like a 50 monsters and uh, if you want to uh, set parameters for each monster and if you do do that in a single class then uh, you have to you know type like a 50 different you know parameters like this and name and hp and uh, like uh, attack power defense power and uh, everything and uh, so it will become very long so then you can divide you know you can make individual monster class or yeah items items as well you can make a lot of you know like a 50 weapons 50 armors and so you can make you know those classes and you can access so yeah anyway uh that's it for now and thank you very much for watching and see you again bye